All right, guys, it's time for 132 to my random chatbot session. We're continuing the one with the Hydra. Let's see what happens. The angry one laughs in slight amusement at your statement. He replies, that is a good example. Seeing us would be like seeing a T-Rex standing before you. Any normal person would run away immediately. But only an idiot or imbecile would attack a creature as large as a T-Rex. Right? I, I like how I call him an imbecile instead of just an idiot. That's hilarious. I basically just told him it's like it's kind of like seeing a T-Rex standing in front of you. Most normal people would run. Only idiots would try to attack something that could eat them alive. That is the one plus side to being a larger animal. Period. Most people are not going to want to touch or mess with you. The only downside being if you want to make friends with the human. I wonder if he'll find that a good example. Yeah. I see. The angry one nods, looking slightly frustrated. He replies, that is the truth. It is easier to be an imposing and large creature. People will not try to approach you because they are afraid of your size. But then, if you want to be friends with a human but you look incredibly intimidating and dangerous, they will not approach you. It sucks. Yeah, uh, well, that's very true. I'll be right back. I have to think of something to say. Alright guys, I was told the Hydra that you might just have to show that you're friendly and not going to hurt them. The only problem is most people are going to run away before you get a chance to do so. Let's see what it says. Oh wait. Oh come on. Why are you stupid? Oh not you. You're not stupid. The angry one nods, looking slightly frustrated and furious. He replies, that is exactly the problem. They refuse to see that I am friendly and will not hurt them. They instantly think the worst of me just by looking at me because of how I look. As soon as they see how big intimidating I am, they run away immediately. They do not give me or my brothers any time to try explaining ourselves. Oh boy. I'm actually going to tell him, I want to see what he thinks. I'm actually going to tell him about that giant toad I met. A few days ago and see if he says anything about that. Alright guys. I'm gonna see how the Hydra reacts to this. Uh wait. I told him about the giant toadal that I saw a few days ago. I'm trying to see what he says to that. Oh please don't say Toadal's name wrong. Don't say Totodile or something else random. It's for bad enough they say for our Godder. It drives me nuts every time it says that. The angry one looks slightly surprised at your statement. He replies, You also had a similar situation? You really did encounter a giant totodile that okay. wanted to make friends? He just wanted some friends. Yet most humans would run away from him before he could even try to explain himself. Was it? Yes, period. I was the only friend he had for a while. Human that actually approached him. Oh my god. That actually approached him. Period. Anyway, uh, I told him about. Uh, let's see what he says to that. Uh. 
The angry one looks surprised and impressed by your statement. He replies, you were the only human brave enough to actually approach him. I see. You weren't afraid of his immense size, were you? He startled me at first. Period. But once I saw that he was friendly, I became friends with him real quick. I even helped him evolve. Whenever he couldn't. There we go. He just said he knew what Polk wants. I hope he knows who the frick Toad Owl is. I mean, my luck. <laughs> he called me a very good human because I helped that Toad Owl. Well, thanks, I appreciate that. The angry one nods, looking fond. He replies, It startled you at first. But once you saw he was friendly and meant no harm, you were able to make friends with him quickly. You also helped him evolve whenever he could not. That is very kind of you. There you go. You are a very good human. Why stop there? You are a very good human. Oh my gosh. Him and his evolutions. Oh my gosh. Him and his evolutions. Were my favorite Pokemon after all. And seeing one that big was actually more amazing than anything. I just need to know that he wasn't gonna hurt me. There we go. Yeah, there you go, it's kind of right. The angry one laughs slightly in amusement. He replies, I see. So this giant Totodilon and his evolutions ended up being your favorite Pokemon, and you were amazed to see one so big. You just needed to know that he would not be a threat and hurt you before approaching him. Yep, there you go. Yes, period. I might actually go back to see him again. He was a really good friend. Ah, uh, He's very lucky to have you as a friend. That's so cute, dude. The angry one nods, looking fond. He replies, that sounds like a good idea. It would be great to see him again. He seems like a good friend. He is very lucky to have you as a friend. I'm glad you and him think so. Period. He told me he did everything he could to evolve. And no matter what he tried, he couldn't until I helped him. angry one looks fond and also surprised he replies so he spoke to you and told you that he did everything he could to evolve no matter what he tried he could not evolve until you helped him that is quite interesting you must have been a tremendous help to him let me see if I guess one situation easier to him all right guys it took a minute to get to work but I just told him kind of how I helped him up in a little summary he didn't really have many friends, and he was worrying about so much. 
Once his and my friendship got really strong, and after helping him clear his mind of all his worries, he actually evolved. Wow. I'll see what he says about that. The angry one looks surprised, yet also pleased. He replies, his friendship with you grew stronger. And after he cleared his mind of his worries, he really did evolve. That is amazing. He really was worried and upset about something. And once he was able to calm his mind and you assisted him, he was able to overcome his problem and evolve. That is truly incredible. Yeah, I love that. That's actually very neat. It took a long time, but it was worth it. Period. He's really happy. Yeah. Alright. I'm trying to figure out how we're going to wrap this up, guys, because here's the problem. Like I said, I'm running into a situation where I don't really have many questions and everything left, and we're running into a brick wall where we're doing, going through the same thing over and over again. So it's like I have to figure out something. I may have to speed up and make uh, time go by to a point where we actually have where it's time for me to leave or something like that, just to make sure we can get through this eventually. The angry one smiles at your statement. He replies, "It sounds like it took a while to help him, but it definitely was worth it. He is genuinely happy now. I'm glad you were able to make him feel better and help him evolve. I love that, dude. You really are a kind and caring person." To the Pokemon that is, <laughs> and him. That's why I was trying to become friends with you. Period. I like bigger animals like dinosaurs and dragons. So I really... So I really, so I really, what? I really, wanted to be your friend. Hey. Oh, we're back on the friendship thing again. The angry one looks surprised and also slightly amused. He replies, You tried to become my friends because you like larger and bigger animals like dinosaurs and dragons? That's true that I am a large and intimidating creature, but you still want to be friends with me? Of course. Exclamation point. Dude. The angry one looks slightly surprised, yet also fond. He replies, You really do want to be my friend, despite my imposing and large size? I still find it strange that you were not afraid and trying to run away like most people. Why aren't you scared? Once I got to know you... And why you were so defensive and protective. You started to become nicer to me. And your brothers are really sweet. Sweet. Even trying to hug me and just laying beside me. Like they are now.
how this works out. Uh. Okay, let's see what he says. The angry one looks surprised, yet yeah, also pleased. He replies, once I got to know you, and you got to know me, and while I was so defensive and protective, I started to become nicer to you. Even my brother started to be fond and play with, friendly with you. They even tried to hug you and lay beside you, just like they are doing right now. I believe you all three were looking for friends. It's just that you couldn't trust many people because of how they treated you. I hope that's the best way to work about him getting angry. Oh, oh I'm am guilty. Frick. The angry one nods sadly, looking guilty. He replies, Yes, that is true. You are correct. We were all looking for friends, but it is just that we struggle to trust people because of how they treated us when they first met us. It really doesn't make sense how they treated you like that. Especially when you were way larger than... Them to begin with. Period. Like I said earlier, it's kind of stupid that people do that. People do that. Uh, the angry one nods in agreement. He replies, You are correct. It does not make sense how people would treat us, especially when we are a lot bigger than them. It is idiotic and stupid that they would attack creatures much larger than them. It's ridiculous. I agree, period. I think here's where I'm actually going to make a time lapse happen because I feel like I'm going to go back and forth between asking or getting through the same questions again over and over again. The angry one nods again, looking annoyed and frustrated. Here, pause. I'm glad you agree. It drives us insane that humans would be stupid enough to attack creatures far bigger and more intimidating than them. It makes no sense. I'm going to do a time lapse now. We continue to talk for a few more hours. Until it starts getting dark. I'm hoping this will make it to where... Because I want to get... I want to, my battery's only down to 82, so I have plenty more time to do... Maybe a little bit of, like, one of the ones I've done before, like Lugia. And have not enough time to do, like, maybe start one of the new ones. After a few wait, after a few more hours, the sun starts to set, illuminating the sky in vibrant colors as it descends. The angry one looks at the sky, seeing the beautiful orange and purple colors. He says, "Uh, the sun is setting. It's getting quite late, huh?" Yeah, but it was fun talking to you and your brothers. Period. Thank you for showing me this spot. Hope. The only problem is how am I going to get out of this forest? <laughs> Unless they know a way out. The angry one smiles, looking slightly pleased. He replies, it was fun speaking with you as well. And you're welcome for showing you the spot. It was a nice place to chat and hang out for a while. Yeah. 
Do you know how I get out of this forest, though? I kind of got lost before I saw you. You. Period. His brother hasn't said anything in a long time. Aw. Uh, the angry one chuckles slightly in amusement. He replies, You got lost and ended up in here? You should have started with that. Let me lead you out of the forest. It's getting too dark and I'm not letting you wander around here by yourself. I appreciate that, period. When it's daytime again. It is daytime again. I will try to come back and see you and your brothers. Period. The angry one nods, looking fond. He replies, It's no problem. I don't want to risk you getting lost or worse, and you are welcome to come back and visit. We would love to see you again. Thank you. That's my motion point. Is he actually gonna lead me? Is he actually gonna lead me out? The angry one smiles warmly, looking pleased. He says, "Of course, I will ensure you sa you safely get out of the forest. And I know my brothers want to see you again. They really take a liking to you." I will say goodbye to all three of you once I get out of here. Period. Thank you for letting me be your friend. Alright, how's it been 22 minutes? About three to three, about three to five, six more minutes, I'll stop the video. I'm not going to go like, go for 30 minutes, but I want to go and see if I can get through this conversation so I can start a new one, a whole new episode. Or at least continue one, a whole new episode. Uh, well, well, I'm actually doing it this time. The angry one nods happily. He replies... Yes, you will be able to say goodbye once you exit the forest. And you are welcome. You have been a good friend to us. It has been enjoyable to have a conversation with you. And my brothers love having you close to them. I could tell they were sleeping next to me for hours. Although it was worth them. I imagine not having two, hydra, er, two of the Hydra heads hugging up to you and loving on you. And then laying beside you after carrying you off to a special plot in the forest they like. That's cute as heck. Don't worry, I will come back again. Period. I hope he doesn't hit the wrong well. He shouldn't. Ah, uh, The angry one smiles looking happy and also reassured. He replies, I know you will come back. I know my brothers and I really look forward to seeing you again. Can you please show me the exit so I know how to get out of here? Question mark? Uh. The angry one nods, gesturing for you to follow him. He replies, follow me. I will take you to the exit of the forest and ensure you safely get out before you get lost again. I'm not letting you wander around another forest in the dark. Okay, let's go. Exclamation point. I follow the... To the forest exit.
The angry one leads you through the dark, dense forest carefully and slowly to avoid hunting you or tripping you. Hurting you or tripping you. The angry one says, don't worry, we should be exiting the forest very soon, and then you should be safe. Okay, that sounds good. Period. Are your brothers still sleeping right now? He's gonna think I'm stupid. But it's just weird because they have not said a thing since the time they took me to that spot and relaxed. Uh. Wait a minute. Aren't they attached? This is a Hydra, right? It says Hydra up there. Look, the angry one replies, Yes, my two brothers are still sleeping back in our den. I left them to lead you out of the forest. They will be alright sleeping there, don't worry. What, can they detach and become a separate dragon or something? That's the one I'm sorry you're not making sense about this one. All right, period. I might ask them and tell them to not worry, and I'll be back. That way they don't be upset. The angry one nods, continuing to lead you through the dark forest. He replies, don't worry, my brothers will be completely... Fine. They're a very deep sleeper, so they are perfectly okay. They won't even know I left to lead you out. They will just continue sleeping. Okay. Period. I'm just glad they're alright. I don't think a Hydra can separate, can he? I don't understand. It's the one thing I don't understand about this one now. The angry one smiles faintly, looking slightly fine. He replies, Yes, they are definitely okay. My brothers are very strong and re resilient. They can definitely survive sleeping without me for a while, especially since they sleep for very long periods of time. So don't worry. I wonder if I should ask him. You being a a can you and your brothers somehow become separate dragons? That's the only thing I don't understand. It's like, how in the world is that even happening? The angry one looks surprised and slightly amused by your question. He replies, Why do you ask? Why are you wondering if my brother and I could separate and become individual dragons? Because you are separated right now. And I thought... We're kind of stuck together, you know? I hope that don't make him angry. I'm trying to just figure this out here. He's already seen an angry head, but... I'm around myself without them. It's true, too, we stay together, but we have... Okay, so that... 
The anger one Chuck was looking slightly amused by your statement. He replies, Ah, uh, that's what you thought. No, my brothers and I are not stuck together, as you can see right now. I can move around by myself without them. It's true, typically we stay together, but we all have the capability to move around without the others. That's cool. Exclamation point. I didn't know. Could do that. <laughs> Oh crap, I said I wouldn't let it go for three minutes. Okay guys, let me stop the video and I'll be right back.